original 1969 Ford Galaxy radio. These are kind of odd looking radios. It's because it fits on the, uh, the left side of the driver right in the corner of the dash. And uh, what we've done to this is cleaned it up. It was, it was pretty rusty. It had uh, a lot of surface rust and rust on the inside. We've done a full roar design conversion on it. it it's got AM, FM. Stereo, four channels out, 45 watts a channel, uh, original slider bar and all, original background light. It has a uh, auxiliary in, which is automatic. We'll be demonstrating that. What if I got everything out to do that one? It has a uh, USB port. USB, you'll get a thumb drive. This will also charge your phone, your devices, and play a thumb drive with music on it. Your auxiliary ends right above it. It also has a Bluetooth, voice command, voice assistance. Uh, has a built-in mic right behind this push button here. You also get an extra mic that comes with it. In case your car is a little loud, you want to get the mic closer to you. All you do is take the power off the radio, plug it in. Run your mic where you want it. When you power the radio back up, this one will go offline. The other one will come online. Right now you're on FM. Original stereo light. You have an operating LED right there. It changes multiple colors depending on what the radio does. This radio also has a built-in uh, balance. Rights. Lefts. And you have a built-in fader in your toner control so you can fade from, from front to rear. Got all the push button presets working like they should. No more. You dwelt among men, my example is he. Flip it over to AM, you see the little light turn to red. Flip it back, takes you right back to FM. Troubling bass like you've always had. These are not the original knobs, so they don't work exactly right. Auxiliary in is an automatic. All you do is plug your device in. You'll get a male-to-male -male cord that comes with it. Bring your device up, no matter what it is, satellite, radio, CD players, whatever you like. All you do is push play. It's gone to green, that tells you on auxiliary end. Whenever, whatever device you have plugged into it, green light showing, you want to come off and go back to radio, just simply turn it off. And in 20 seconds, the radio will go right back to where we had it. If you want to shorten that time, just turn the radio off and right back on. It remembers where you're at. Uh, that's basically for AM radios. It does work on this one, though, if you want to shorten. We're going to let it switch back by itself. Switch back over to stereo. That's how your auxiliary in works. We're going to run our Bluetooth in. It is push button control uh, to answer your phone calls, change your music on your phone, and your thumb drive. These are pretty cool so you don't have to do the dials all the time. Being this on the left side of the car, the push button is. Depends on if you're right hand or left hand. We're going to bring the phone up, make sure we're on Bluetooth. And we're going to pair it up. We're going to let the assistant help us. We're going to hold the button down. Ready to pair. Showed up on our phone. All we got to do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Now we're connected up. Now we're going to check the mic out and then we're going to do a voice command, tell my phone to go to music, hold it down. Play music. Going to music on my phone, if my phone acts right, it does. 
Okay, let's go to what we're playing right now. You don't have to do this when you're uh, driving. You just leave the phone down. If you want to advance your songs, press it once. It'll advance your songs. Twice, we'll back up a repeat. That way you don't have to be driving with your phone. You can do everything from your, from your push button, look up addresses, whatever you'd like to do. Phone, tell it to call somebody. If you had it listed that way, that's the way it'll work. Got a good clean sound to it. We're going to do a voice command. Let's go back to radio. Hold it down. Stop music. Put the phone in pause. Now we're going right back to radio. Uh, you can actually just bring your phone up and hit play, and it'll automatically switch over, or hit stop, it'll automatically switch back. That's how your Bluetooth and everything works. And as if you notice, your push button's lit up. Now we're going to do the USB. When you you can hide these wherever you want to, they don't have to see them. And when you first plug it in, it's going to go straight to it. Advance your songs the same way as you did on your phone. Twice to back up a repeat. Don't go to uh, pause and go back to radio. You don't have to pull this in and out. You can, that's why you say you can hide these. Hold it down one second. Put it in pause. This light's going to blink a couple times along with that one. Now we're going to go right back to radio. And same thing going down the road. We'll go down the road and you want to listen to your favorite music, just hold it down one second. Go right back to it. Depends on whether how long you're down, whether it goes back to the same song or not. Go back to radio, hold it down. That's your original 1969 Ford Galaxy radio AM FM. These kind of hard to find. Show you a neat little thing the new Aurora design boards have 2.5s. This radio will seek and scan for you. Uh, I'm just now getting into learning how it works. But if you're like if you're on a station right here and you want to seek and scan, you take your tuning knob and you turn it twice. One, two. So that little light starts blinking. Now it's going to scan. God loves us unconditionally. That unconditional love. Many people in dire circumstances, drinking, seeing women, etc. Which is pretty good if you're going out of town, you don't know the stations, you want to seek to put it in that mode, and it will seek and scan for you. When you find what you want, you want to stop, just turn the knob, it'll store it. Now we can go back. Back the way we used to be, radio. I feel positive all of the time. Realize it, but you can help. In the gospel Start of Jesus scanning. Christ. Which leads me to say that if you've never received Jesus Christ as your Savior, if you're listening to this and go... Kind of neat, ain't it? They don't know move, but you're seeking the scan into your station. And this was just trials. I mean, it was a stillborn baby. It was just one trial after another. I like that station. Now we found it. Not stored. That in the Walgreens is a preferred network pharmacy with pretty neat it'll seek and scan for you. Without the needle moving, that's a new uh, feature on the 2.5 Aurora design boards. I think they're cool. Let's find a little music. We're going to go into the fader mode. 
But I think it's going to put more speakers in the car than just what's up front. Speaker mode is built in your toner. Find the center of it, go clockwise twice. One, one, two. One, two. Put you in the fader mode when you get through beeping. There's your rear. There's your front. As long as you're moving that, it will stay in that mode. Find what you want. We're going to balance it out. Let it beep. Now you got a built-in right and left balance. Shit. That's the original 1969 Aurora design conversion Galaxy AM FM radio with the new 2.5 board. I appreciate you letting me do it for you.